que tá bot. Kilo says she loves you. She left something for you in the pantry. It's me! <laughs> it's like this. I like this. It's like this. Why is your grandpa doing it? That's in the hallway. Mm -hmm. But with his with hand, hand huh? and then he prints it. And he, he writes like multiple. And then what? He just randomly just gives it out. What does it say? Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. Something you remember to turn out the light. That's nice of him. Let's go.
Bobby. Okay, chips. We got. I know, I'm gonna get this one. Gin. Yuzu Sawa. <gasps> Huggy, I want to try this. $13? Okay. $14? Oh my god, it's not a moment. 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 It's not a Hot, but like, oh. are we ready to do? Are we ready to do the car mukbang? Today we have uh, what's that? Shiitake mushroom chips. Why is it green? I have no idea. Oh, is it wasabi flavor? Uh, was oh, it's a wasabi flavor. And it's vegan. 
<laughs> it says umami, savory, and crispy. What do you think? You think it'll be good? Yeah, it looks good. What if it's spicy? So you're not no kid, okay? <laughs> what are you worried about? The wasabi spicy, it like goes to your nose. And like you're like, Argh. it smells like just Asian chips. This is what it looks like, guys. Kind of looks like gathered poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. It's just mushrooms, but they're just dried. Hey, we got an H Mart. All right, are you ready? Here. Oh my god. Don't tell me the reaction till you finish it, okay? Are you doing like one small bite or just put it everything in your mouth? So I always say you do you, okay? Alright, go ahead. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All the wasabi and the flavor is sweet. Yeah, it's pretty savory. Good. Why is it sweet? It does not taste like mushroom at all. It just tastes like chips right yeah why well, is it sweet it's just sugar with um wasabi you know oh, there's sugar in it oh wow i really i would definitely get this again really? yeah they had different flavor remember other than wasabi it had yeah, you know, like, like a pepper what? or something or oh hi definitely try it if you like wasabi and you don't mind mushroom Oh man, wow, it's really good. And it's so crunchy. I'm okay. <laughs> I guess you don't like it. Mm. I don't think I like it as much as you do. I really like it. Mm. We should run some water. Mm, I have coffee. You know, like having a fifth, I don't, I don't taste mushroom. If I close my eyes and nobody told me like, hey, what are you eating? I'll be like, I, I don't know. Really? Mm -hmm. I could taste the mushroom. Mmm, mmm. I would definitely get this. This is like one of those things I would buy continuously. Really? Mm -hmm. You definitely. like it that much? I like it that much. We also have plant snack, vegan cheddar. Oh my god, look at all the signs they decide to put in here. <laughs> <laughs> like vegan, say? no sugar added. This is grain-free, corn-free, soy-free, dairy-free, tree nut, <laughs> and peanut-free. So what am I eating? It's cassava root. It has, the ingredient is actually not that bad. I don't know. <laughs> tree nut, peanut-free, shellfish-free, egg-free, milk-free. Like, what's in here then? <laughs> this smell good? It smells very cheesy. That's what it looks like, guys. Here, I'm going to give you a... All right, ready? All right, let's go. It tastes very oh vegan. To you? Yeah, it's very vegan flavor, like like vegan cheese flavor. Yes and no to me. Huh? Yes and no. I know what you mean, but not really to me. Oh, really? Only because I haven't had cheese, anything cheesy chips in so long. To me, this is so cheesy. Yeah, but it's, I, it's kind of addicting. I keep wanting to eat it. Not bad. It's really not bad, considering that there is nothing in here, like gluten-free, corn-free, peanut-free, <laughs> soy-free, dairy-free, no sugar added. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty salty, though. Huh, I like it. Yeah, I like it, too. Huh, not bad. It's like a healthy goldfish. Oh, yeah, 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 goldfish. I know how goldfish tastes like. Yeah. The texture is not really, it's a little bit more... Well, the texture, the goldfish has like a... More softer. Cracker, you know, like more it's rich. It's like cracker, yeah. When you're like, yeah. when it's the chewing mode, it's really soft. Yeah. This one's kind of just... It's like a pita bread. Pita bread chips, kind of. Yeah, it's like pita bread, yeah. We brought the most saltiest food today. Uh -huh. We didn't bring any water. <laughs> you know what that means. We have to go get Starbucks? That's right. <laughs> we got Starbucks yesterday. I used to get Starbucks twice a day. That's true. I cut down to like three times a week now. Pretty good. <laughs> this beats it for me. This was. No, I like me. this one better. Oh, you do? It's because I like sweet snacks. Yeah, I don't like sweet snacks. I, I love like sweet snacks. I like cheesy, salty snacks. Yeah. This is good. I like this one better.
So now you know why I don't like chips so much. Why? When I eat chips, I feel guilty at the end. I think that's what it is that I don't like about it. Do you ever get guilty eating chips? No. That was good. Oh, I need Starbucks. Hungry. Yeah? What do you think, as a human being, what trade should you have? Most important trade that you should have as a human being, you think? Do you need to think about it before you answer? Yeah, you go first. Do you, do you, do you yeah. have any? Let's say, let's say, let's say together to see if it's correct, okay? Okay. Then we're, we're in the same thing, okay, ready? Okay. On three, we say it together, right? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Love. love. Oh my gosh, thank <laughs> I love you! <laughs> that's, I think that's most important. Because if you have love, everything just comes in. Like humility, and modesty, and honesty, and loyalty. That's all love, isn't it? But you know, there's a saying in Korea, love does not feed you. Like, they say, like, 사랑이 밥 먹여주니? You know, they say that. Let's say a, a guy and a girl, they meet and they love each other. Yeah. And then like, usually the parents, they don't like, you know, their education status or their have money or whatever. They're like, they always say, like, love does not feed you. Love doesn't last forever. And, like, they, I've heard people say that. But that's because they're kids. Kids. Kids are like... I don't know. I, that's that's not fair. Because kids could love a lot more, I think, than some adults out there. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is when kids, like, when they're like 12 or 13, they're no, not talking love. about love. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, you know, like 20-year-old, 22-year-old, they're ready to get married. They meet somebody. They're like, I love her. I want... and But, like, she, you know, like, he or she, I love him or her, but... Like the guy's family is really bad or you know he, has, he doesn't have good education doesn't have money she's from a wealthy family but he's not whatever it is like sometimes it doesn't fit you it, like the the lifestyle doesn't fit and they say oh it's not gonna work out because love doesn't last long people do say that what do you think about that the thing about it is a lot of people think love is just a natural thing but it's not i really think love is something that we need to work on don't you think but people nowadays they all have a different view on what love is yeah but whatever regardless of what it is you have to work on your love it just let's say you have feeling for this person is so strong you miss them all the time you love them all the time you feel like you could do everything for them but then you see yourself kind of like drifting off from that mode you need to like work on yourself to bring that love back again. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. My love hasn't died for you, but my love became a lot more comfortable with you. What do you think? What do you about you? My love always grows for you. <laughs> really? Yeah. It never stopped? It never paused? It will never stop. It will never pause. My love for you is like the river. No, now you're being No fake. matter what obstacles, it will never stop me. No cold, no heat, no wood, no nothing. Whatever, whatever. You do know that's my favorite, my favorite yeah. thing, favorite nature. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a stream. Yeah. Like a river. You know, that's my favorite. Yeah, you do. You love stream. What was the reason again? You told me you forgot. Yeah, remember I we were we were going camping one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we saw like a really strong current, like stream, right? Yeah. And it was during the winter too, so the water, you know, because it's constantly moving, it's not cold enough to freeze. And there was so much like wood and debris, like blocking rocks. it, rocks and everything, but still the water kept flowing. Yeah. That's like life, you know. Sometimes there's something that's gonna stand in your way trying to block you but you gotta be like water you just gotta go through it that's why it's my favorite thing to see but uh, this is why i love you because when you say stuff like that i love who you are i really love who you are i really do like when you tell me stuff like that deep 
thoughts. That's I what, just love it. If you look at creation itself, if you just go outside and look at creation, look at the nature, it just it makes you feel better. And you, yeah. and you start wondering and start thinking about your life and everything. Oh, I, but remember I told you about... I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but... Remember we were watching a podcast about North Korea? Yeah. And then remember I told you that uh, the reason why... Kim Jong Un, the dictator, is uh -huh. starving his people. Is because yeah, yeah. you remember I told you. Yeah, yeah. Should I tell them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you want to tell them? No, you tell them. Yeah, she was saying that the reason why Kim Jong Un starves his people. Yeah, like I never understood that till you told me. I was like, wow. Well, that... also because he's a ruthless dictator. Yeah, I'm, and then uh -huh. the second one is because she said that when people are full, when their stomachs are full and they're not hungry. They start thinking about life. They start thinking about what they want to do. They start thinking about art. They start thinking about entertainment and stuff Their like desire. that. Their desire starts of... to come in. Yeah. But she said that when you're hungry, when you're starving, yeah. all you think about is survival. And when you yeah. think about survival, you don't think about anything else other than I need to eat, I need to survive, I need to live. But you know what? That literally brings back to the conversation we had about love if you give too much of yourself to a guy or a girl that's when that happens they they start thinking other like they want to you know date other girls and they start looking elsewhere do you notice that but you have to have something other than that person you have to have like some sort of like dignity towards your life you know what I'm saying? It's almost like they like you, they love you number one, but they also have something that they love other than you. If you have that, then the relationship lasts longer, don't you think? Yeah. But a lot of the time, especially when you're younger, when you love something, you just devote your life, like you throw everything and you just love one thing, that person, that's when they kind of like get sick of you, they cheat on you, they want, cause they're, they get so comfortable, they, like, they're so rich with your love. Does that make sense? Yeah. It makes sense. Right? Yeah. But anyways, why did you bring her up though? Out of the conversation we're having. You're talking about River and all of a sudden you talked about her. Are you becoming like me? I don't know, I just have random thoughts. Oh, I love your random thoughts. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to look at for nature? Like flowers or? I love to look at green and then water. Green and water? Yeah, green and water. I don't know how it is, but if I see green and water together, it just really calms me down. So like, like, I haven't seen a lot of waterfalls in my lifetime. No, I'm not talking about like Niagara Falls where it's like, you know, grandioso and like, you know, Niag I mean, I've seen Niagara Falls. It's kind of like, it overtakes you like, wow, you know? You know those like in the picture, like you're in a remote place and you see like a waterfall, yeah. like those. And then it has like a little lagoon or like a little place to swim. Like, I would love to see something like, I haven't seen it in my life, you know, just in pictures. So if I go to a place like that, I think I would like fall in love. There are people that actually chase waterfalls. Do you know that? People that love waterfalls yeah. are very strong personality. You think? Yeah. I think their personalities would be strong if they love to you see You think? Waterfalls. I have a really strong personality, Hangi. You? Yeah. Yeah, I think you do. I think you have strong outside, yeah. but very soft inside personality. You're very yeah. headstrong in the, in the outside, but you can also be very weak and vulnerable too. I think most people are like that nowadays. They put up a front. They kind of put up like an armor and they don't really want to. How about me? What's my personality like? I think you're very sensitive inside. I think that's why we fit together because you're so sensitive that you um, understand my sensitivity. You've never really crossed and pushed my red button. Because you're that sensitive, because if I tell you like it hurts, when I say, hey, um, this hurts me, yeah, you'll be sensitive enough to understand that and say, I'm sorry. You know? Oh my God, look at these birds. <laughs> oh my God, see who's annoying me. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Where are you just doing? Wait, just here, here, get that, get it, get it right here. Just don't open the window, just out of nowhere, just. There's just like a bunch of 
と思うけど。What the heck? In the middle of the mall, and there's just a bunch of seagulls. We're nowhere near the ocean. I know. Where are these guys from? <gasps> oh my god, they look like they're all sleeping. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, why are they just sitting there? What is going on? Are they lost? <laughs>